Hello and welcome to my channel, Gigi here. Um, today we are going to be doing a collab um, hosted by Hannah, boss underscore nail art on Instagram, and it's for Selena. And I chose to do a little bit of music, some white roses on purple, and some lips. So we're going to take this and put this on this hand. Okay, and yeah, I cut my nails down and I reshaped them. So I was having problems with them chipping on the sides. And I thought, well, if I have a chip, I didn't want to cut it down. So I just reshaped. So baby ballerinas, I guess you could call them. All right, so let me get my um, supplies together and we will talk about what I use. I started my base with Peelies. Um, this is a new product developed by It's Me Karen 99 on Instagram. Um, so it's she is IMK Nails if you're interested in checking that out. I used Sesh Calla Lily for the base on several of my nails. For my purple base I used Bee's Knees and it is called And We Will Never Be Royals. This is a gorgeous polish. Look at all the flakies in there. I stamped with Conad White. I used Bundle Monster, I think it's Amethyst, the um, little tag came off so I'm not sure, but it is the purple that you see stamped on my thumb. I used Pween Amazon Moss. I topped everything off with Glistening Glow. Clear Jelly Stamper CJS37. I used the roses here, I did not use the, um, the leaves. Though. I used the lips on this X Y-Z19 plate. I think I got it from AliExpress or it might have been an eBay. I just don't remember. And I used the music notes here on this Clear Jelly Stamper CJS43 plate. And I used the roses on this Clear Jelly Stamper CJS-02 plate. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this these music notes off of this plate. and see what we can do here. It turned out pretty nice. Let's try to get some of this off of here. Okay. And that's going to go on my ring finger. I'm just making sure. And stamped it straight down. Turned out pretty nice. Um, and I will clean that up in a bit. So let's go on to the heart. I'm sorry, the lips. Right here, I'm going to use this one down here. And this is the off of that XY-Z19 plate. It was really, I cannot remember exactly where I got it from or how much it was. But um, I think it'll be great. It's a great, it's a pretty good pickup. I'm going to put that on my thumb. Just plop it straight down. Okay. And let's see what else do we want to do. All right, so I believe we're done with those plates. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go on to the roses. I'm going to do the leaves first on this. And hopefully it will come out okay. Just going to grab the leaves first. Not sure. Yeah, that's okay. And those are going to go right here. I'm going to put them right here. Okay. Next, I'm going to do white roses. So I'm going to take the Conad White and do the little circle right next to it. And when you place this on your nail, You'll need to make sure that it's um, around that cl or around, not around, but close to that cluster of um, leaves right here. I'm just going to put it right in here. Now on the other nail that had dried so quickly, I actually had to use um, yellow stopper, but it doesn't look like I needed to do that this time. Going to go ahead and pick up the purple right next to it, and that is way too much, but it'll be okay. Pick that up, get 
some of that off of there. And then you're just going to line up your flower as best you can. And I think I've had too much coffee this morning. I'm a little shaky. Turned out pretty nice, yeah? Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just take this rose right up here um, and just put a couple of them down to make to fill up some of the empty space that I have going on. Just anywhere up there. And we'll do one more. Let's see, here we go. Okay. My granddaughter is here, so I'm like, oh, I want to get this done so I can go play with her. <laughs> and then I'll put that one right in here. The great thing about the roses is if, is if you don't pick them all up, you know, it's okay because you can still tell that it's a rose. Like normally I probably would have redone that, <clears throat> redone that stamp, but I'm okay with it. All right, let's see what else are we gonna, okay, we're gonna grab this one down here and put that on our pinky. So, and when you do this, you know, it's got that negative space, you need to do this flat and then a quick flick to pick it up. Okay, and yes, that does go on my pinky. I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to take the one right next to it, right here, let me clean that up a little bit. You wanna make sure that there's no polish in, in the grooves, because um, sometimes it, it just won't pick it up. There's not enough space in the groove for the polish to actually settle. And that picked up pretty well. Make sure I'm in frame here. And looks like it's going to go right there. Oh, that one turned out pretty nice. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to work on the last one, which is the big one. Let me get these out of the way. And let me flip this over. I don't like dirty. <laughs> All right, so this is the other CGS um, plate, the 37, and we're, I'm not going to do the um, leaves. I'm just going to do this and then stamp this on top of it. All right, so I'm going to get the white, and again, you're working with negative space, so you want to make sure you have enough polish in there, but when you scrape it, scrape it pretty flat. Let's see if I scraped it enough. I might not have scraped it in. No, see? I did not scrape it enough. Yep, it's okay. Mistakes happen, right? Happened to me a lot. <laughs> Just saying. All right, I'll try this again. And I, I had plenty of polish on there, and it actually looked like I had too much on, but I think I just did not scrape it very well. So that was my issue. So let's try this. It's still flat still scraped and if I don't pick it all up I'm not um, upset about it that looks pretty good all right so we're gonna put that right in here uh, let's do it a little bit different this time I wanted to make sure you could tell that they were actual roses on my nails my thing is, is I was not paying attention to how I did that so now I have to make sure that I line it up correctly. So we'll scrape, pick it up, and looks like I have two small roses up here. So it would go right in here. Hopefully you can see that. And there we go. Okay. Not too bad. Let me get some of this out of here so that when I use my um, tape to clean that up, I don't pull all of that off. Okay, not too bad. I kind of like them. I have them on both hands, so that's good, right? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I'll top coat it, and I will be back with, um, with pictures. Thank you so very much for joining me. 
Um, I will have the ladies that joined into this, I'll have their photos coming up and um, I will have links to the channels down below so if you could uh, hop over and give them a follow that would be awesome. Uh, subscribe to their channels if you like what you see and I think you will. And um, if you came over to my channel from their channels, thank you very much. Hope you will stay a while. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So thank you so very much for watching and as always, be kind and be creative.